Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Naris Technologies. In today's session, I am going to explain about what is dynamic SQL. Okay. So, what is dynamic SQL and what is the importance of dynamic SQL? So, dynamic SQL is a technique that enables you to build SQL commands at runtime. So, with the help of this dynamic SQL, we can build SQL statements at runtime. So, when this is useful, when we do not know the, the full text of SQL commands at compilation time. So, when we do not know the SQL statements, the full text of SQL statements at compilation time and we know this full text of SQL statements at runtime. For example, in, in all your PLSQL programs, so you entered uh, values at runtime. For example, in maximum programs, you input uh, primary key value at runtime, like you input employee number at runtime, you input account number at runtime, you input uh, uh, student number at runtime, you input uh, uh, customer ID at runtime. So, you input this values at runtime, but uh, I want to input table name at runtime. So, when this dynamic SQL is useful, when we do not know table names and column names until runtime. So, at the time of compilation, I do not know the table names and column names, I know this table names and column names at runtime. So, that case this dynamic SQL is useful then, but question is how to execute this dynamic SQL commands and it can be that dynamic SQL command can be uh, DDL command or it can be DQL command or it can be DML command or it can be DCL commands. So, the dynamic SQL command can be it can be either DDL command or it can be DML command or it can be DQL command or it can be DCL command. Like for example, suppose drop table table name drop table EMP. So, what is this command is this command is static SQL. Why this is static? Because it never changes. So, first time you execute this command drop CMP table, second time you execute this command drop CMP table. So, every time you execute this command it drops CMP table. So, this is static SQL, but here I do not know this table name, okay. which table I want to drop I do not know at compilation time I know this at run time. So, that case dynamic SQL comes into the picture. Okay, that and one of the frequently asked question in interviews. So, how to execute DDL commands from PLSQL programs? Like if you see the programs in all the programs, we can directly execute uh, DML commands, we can directly execute DML commands like insert command, update command, delete command and we can directly execute select statement, we can directly execute commit rollback save point but we cannot directly execute DDL commands from PLSQL program. Then how to execute DDL commands from PLSQL program? So, this can be done. So, by using one called execute immediate, okay. execute immediate. Using this execute immediate, we can execute dynamic SQL commands or we can also execute DDL commands. We can execute DDL commands or we can execute dynamic SQL commands also. Like whatever the command you want to execute, that command should be passed as a string to execute immediate. The command you want to execute, that command should be passed as a string to execute immediate. Means in single quotes, so string should be placed in single quotes. In single quotes, just pass that command, dynamic SQL command. That command should be passed as a string to execute immediate. Okay. So, I will explain this with one example. Let us see one example, let us see this practically. Suppose uh, I want to for example, I want to truncate a table or I want to drop the table, but I do not know which table I want to drop, I know this at runtime. So, and also I want to create a procedure for dropping this table. So, then I will create one procedure for dropping the table. See create or replace, create or replace procedure, procedure name drop underscore table then. So, which table you want to drop 
pass that table name to this procedure. So, whichever the table you want to drop, pass that table name to this procedure. For example, I want to drop some table, pass that table name to this procedure. So, I am declaring a parameter and this parameter is n and this type of this parameter is in and what is this is where cat 2 is begin. So, whatever the table name is passed to n, I want to drop the table. The value passed to n is emp, I want to drop emp table. The value passed to n is dept, I want to drop department table. Then see this, what I am doing is, so I want to execute the drop command, but we cannot directly execute the drop command. So, to execute this dynamic SQL statements, we use execute immediate, execute immediate in single quotes, then drop table, table name drop table table name, but table name is passed to this parameter n. The name of this table is passed to parameter n. So, then, but if you give n like this, but n will be treated as table name, but n is not a table name, n is a parameter, the table name is passed to that parameter, n is not a table name, n is a parameter, uh, that table name is passed to this parameter. So, it should not be in single quotes, it should be outside the single quotes. Then so, drop table next concatenate n. So, drop table n means the value passed to n is emp, then the command becomes drop table emp. The value passed to n is dept, the command becomes drop table dept. Then next n, okay. So, here now what is this is called? Now, this is called dynamic SQL. Why this is called dynamic SQL? Because this command is build at runtime. So, this drop table, which table it drops depends on the value passed to n at runtime. So, let me create this procedure first. Procedure is created. After creating this procedure, after creating this procedure, I want to test this procedure, then execute this procedure. So, I want to execute this procedure. I am executing, execute procedure name. What is the procedure name? Drop table next in brackets table name. For example, I want to drop EMB table or I want to drop table. So, let us see the list of tables select star from tab. So, there are some tables. For example, I want to drop this bonus table. Then let us see this execute the procedure, execute procedure name, drop table in brackets single quotes table name. So, what the table name is bonus this value bonus is passed to this n and the command becomes drop table bonus and execute immediate will execute the command passed to this execute immediate. Whatever the command is passed to execute immediate that command is executed. So, what the command drop table bonus that command is executed means bonus table is dropped. Now, let us test it. So, PLSQL procedure successfully completed means the table is dropped. So, describe bonus then object does not exist. Okay. So, what is this is called? So, this is called dynamic SQL and how to execute the dynamic SQL and so like I want to generalize this procedure. Now, with this procedure with the help of this procedure, I am able to drop the tables, but I want to generalize this procedure with the help of this procedure. So, I want to drop any type of object like I want to drop tables. I want to use this procedure to drop tables, I want to use this procedure to drop views, I want to use this procedure to drop index, I want to use this procedure to drop synonyms like this. I want to use this procedure to drop any type of object, but what makes the difference is for example, to drop table command is drop table table name, to drop index command becomes drop index index name, to drop views drop view view name. Okay. To drop table, the command is drop table table name. The to drop index, command is drop index index name. To drop view, command is drop view view name. But with the help of this procedure, if you want to drop any type of object, then what should be passed to this procedure? What is the object to type you want to drop plus what is the object name? You have to pass two values to this procedure. One is object to type and another one object name. Because so, for dropping the table, we use keyword table. For dropping index, we use keyword index. For dropping view, we use keyword view. 
so which object you want to drop and what is that object to type you want to drop so then so what i am doing is for the same procedure i'll take two parameters one is t t in var cat 2 and another one is n so i'm taking two parameters one is t one is n what is passed to t is object to type is password and what is password to n is object to name okay the type is password to t and the name is password to n okay the value password to t is a table the value password to n is emp and this command should drop emp table the value password to t is a view the value password to n is v1 and this command should drop view v1 so then now let us come to this one execute immediate so what the command is drop after drop what should be there type should be there object to type which object you want to drop so where is that type the type is password to t then concatenate t next after this after object to type what should be there object name should be there where is the object name here the object name is password to n let t should be concatenated with n space n next n okay so with the help of this procedure i can drop any type of object i can drop views i can drop index i can drop synonym i can drop sequence like this so let's change this procedure name to drop object let's change this procedure name to drop object so create this procedure so procedure is created and after creating this procedure let's uh, see the some sequence names select sequence name from user underscore sequences next let's create sequence otherwise we create sequence sequence s1 one sequence is created similarly let's check any views are there or not user underscore views now let's create one view create view v1 as select sar from emp okay so let it be like what using this procedure i can create any type of object for example i want to drop sequence to drop sequence then give this command execute drop underscore object so this takes two parameters first parameter is t what should be passed to t is object to type what the object to type is sequence what the second parameter is object name for example s1 so the sequence is passed to t and s1 is passed to n then command becomes drop sequence s1 now let's see sequence s1 is dropped next i want to drop a table then execute drop underscore object so what is the type you want to drop table and what is the table name like table name is emp the table is passed to t and emp is passed to n and this command is executed drop table what is the value passed to t is table the value passed to n is emp drop table emp so the emp table is dropped now let us say this so actually one trigger is there so the trigger is firing what is the trigger is so the trigger is not allowing to drop the tables so drop trigger t10 okay then see this execute drop underscore object what do you want to drop table which table you want to drop emp then so plsql procedure successfully completed means emp table is what dropped so this is so how you execute dynamic sql commands from plsql programs so thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe to narayshetty thank you